Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, this is a little quickie, trying to be a quickie, on um, oiling your knife sheaths when you get them. Why, why would you want to do it? What would you use? What's the advantage of it? Is there any disadvantage? Leather is just hide, basically. And when an animal's alive, what keeps it supple and moving around and non-stiff is oil from the skins, like usually sebaceous glands or something like that. And uh, when you get these particular slips, you know, they're inexpensive and everything, but it's stiff leather. And you can use it like that. But um, as James C. noticed, you know, there was a little spot forming on one of mine from something. It's still there. You can still see it. But this is just really like a little coat of uh, mineral oil. And all I did was take a uh, a jumbo cotton ball. It doesn't have to be jumbo. It doesn't have to be a cotton ball. You could use a Q-tip or something like that. But a cotton ball just works a little bit better. And uh, all I do... The reason why I'm using mineral oil is it's cheap. It's available and it's non-toxic. And uh, leather is kind of like thirsty. You know, like this one right here, it hasn't been touched. So I'm going to put another coat on this one. This one's only had like two coats and it's darkened up that much. But you just rub it in a little bit. You don't have to have the knife in there. You can take it out, but I'm just going to have this one kind of form fit this one. And it, at first it looks like it's pretty oily and everything, but that stuff absorbs in there, especially on a new one, pretty well. And you just rub around a little bit and... uh Get the seams and everything. And what this is doing, besides just darkening it, it has the advantage of uh, waterproofing it. Because leather can be destroyed by water. It can be destroyed by dry rot and it can be destroyed by water. And you're preventing kind of both of those things when you add oil to them. So you can see the color difference. You know, how dark that one is. And we'll show you what just one coat of it does. Now it doesn't have to be mineral oil. It can be... Um, there's all different kinds of alternatives, but mineral oil is pretty cheap. You can use pretty much just any kind of oil. This will also show you if the dye is done very well, if it's going to come off easily. You'll get a little bit of, um, dye effect from this. Doing it this way. But it's going to help protect the knife when it's in there. It's going to keep this thing from being so stiff. It's going to start getting more supple. And if you're trying to form fit, you know, to a knife. Now look at how much darker that got with just one coating of it. And oil is like, I mean, the leather is like thirsty. You know, it wants, it'll absorb it and you can go in and reapply it. So I'm going to look at some of my notes that I had on here. Um, why would you oil leather? Well, it darkens the leather and makes it look better uh, to me. And stains don't show up as easily on a darker surface than they do on a lighter surface. It makes it softer and uh, you can form fit the knife. Like Jersey Knife Guy says, he'll just sit there and he'll oil his up and squeeze it, you know, like that to form fit it and stuff. Um, let's see. It waterproofs it and it prevents dry rot. What type of oil? Well, you can use mineral oil because it's cheap and non-toxic. Or WD-40 because it's available. Or vegetable oil or olive oil. And then there's commercial things like beeswax and snow seal and some of those other ones where you basically rub it in. It's kind of thick like a paste. And then you take like a hair dryer and whoosh, you know, you put that on there. And it does the same thing, kind of like waterproofs it and... uh it has to be reapplied every so often, but yeah, that's all you got to do. I don't have a knife on this one. This, I think, is the medium, and this is the large slip, but look at that. It darkened it up pretty good, and it's already getting a little bit more supple, and I just did this today. Um, it's been, you know, in its unoiled state. But I only recently started putting this knife, the GEC, in here. 
it won't hurt it. We get a little oily. I'll just wipe that off later on. But yeah, it darkens it up. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to tell you about. I don't know if it's going to show up well with this light. I'm going to have to stop this film and start it again, but let me see if it'll do it. Yeah, it'll, it'll show it a little bit. Let me turn the light off on the video, though. All right, here we go again. Now, this is just a black light, an OLight light, a black light. It's the i3 UV. They've got a, this is a AAA one. They've got a AA one that's a little bit bigger. But uh, it's not really showing us this well. But what this does is it can help you uh, detect cracks and pins. Let me turn this light off, see if we get, turn that light off. Quit flashing. Now turn the overhead light off. There we go. It's kind of dark. But it'll show you um, on bone and stuff. Come on, focus. Look at that. Uh, it'll pick up cracks on pins. It'll also show you how the dye pattern is done on particular knives. This is almost like too bright for this. There was one knife I had where even on a not just bone but even on like a synthetic see like look at that this is that desert swirl and it shows up real well on a tortoise shell too i got a bunch of different knives out here kind of glowing but yeah sometimes you know with a paint and everything you won't be able to see a crack but if you shine it with one of these lights it's not doing it that well under the camera I think you can s let me zoom this guy in and see if we can get him to focus. Yeah, there we go. That'll help a little bit. Now focus on not that, that right there. Quit bouncing around. But yeah, you see that? See that little crack right there? You can't really see that in normal light. Let me turn this light on. See in normal light, you can't really see that crack there. You look at it and you think, eh, eh. even magnified. But as soon as you put the UV light on it, you can see it. So, that's just something I thought I'd throw in there for you. How to darken leather. What the reason, you know, why people do it. And then also, UV light can come in handy just looking at the dye patterns on stuff. You know, you look at that and you go, wow, that's pretty cool. And then you look at it under UV light and it just turns into an entirely different creature. Of course, it doesn't show it as well with light on at the time, but it's better when it's all dark. Let's try that again. We'll turn this off. We'll get it dark in here. Quit flashing. It's illuminated over there. All right, it's dark again with my little flashlight thing go. Focus you. Zoom in. Yeah, this is a small cotton sampler, but just look how that dye pattern does. And it's the same way with tortoise shell. Tortoise shell looks, you can really see how the different layers of the stuff was put in there. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that one in there for you. But yeah, besides oiling your knives and stuff every once in a while, you can oil your leather. Make it supple and darken it and get all those advantages of, then if water hits, it's going to beat off. It's not going to mess up in there and yeah, every once in a while I have to reapply it and everything, but it's a lot better than, this guy's really stiff. This one's starting to lighten up a little bit, but yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.